Hi hey guys, I just wanted to tell you about the Fogger V4. This thing, there's the top cap for it. Right there, Fogger version 4. It's actually pretty cool. It's what I've got on top of that. Of course, I'm not really doing a review of this as of yet, but I will. Um, but since I have it broke down, I'm going to show you the setup I've got. Should be 0.5 ohm. See, there's a. Let me see here. See, there's a coil there and a coil there. It should come out to about 0.5 ohms, I think. Let's check it right now, actually. I can show you what I'm talking about. Just take this one off. I should do like an up a little bit more of an up close but that's all right I think most people watching this probably already know what's going on anyways or at least have a pretty good idea of what these are to begin with which is why you're watching this I really do like these though they they kick ass um, point four it's point four ohm is what this says okay I don't want to activate it. There's no juice in there or anything to burn the thing out. Okay. But they work well. They work real well. I got mine off of eBay for like, I don't know, I think it was like 35 something like that. I'll put a link in the description underneath of where I got it. I have to look it up. Um, watch this. This thing is their killer. This thing is be probably about maybe three seconds. I'll pull on it, but they're insane. That thing is nuts, man. In fact, I don't think I pulled hard enough on it. It tastes a little, a little burnt. That's one secret about these. I mean, you have to really draw on them. If you, especially if you have like the airflow open, you have to really, you know, you have to really draw on it pretty aggressive to keep that suction, keep the wicks wet, keep the juice coming in. Let me try it one more time. There we go. That's. <laughs> like a fog machine it definitely lives up to its name fogger this thing is killer i love it absolutely love it let me since i have this thing broke down and i know the wires are okay and everything i'm gonna pause this and then restart it and i'll show you guys how to put it together um while it's when it's apart doesn't really matter if uh it's together right now because you see what it looks like when it's together okay um so let me show you up close um, i have to look i wonder if a piece came off hold on i'll try and do this on camera this is the first time i've ever done this so bear with me um no it looks okay i don't know it's a weird piece of wire from something. So anyways, um, this ring here, this right there, this bottom one, try to make sure that's in frame. Now let me take this off. Oh, there we go. That little knurled ring. That's your airflow adjustment. Make sure this stays in focus for you. It's actually, it moves really easy. Let me try and find, there's an air hole. Um, grab these tweezers. There's an air hole right there. You can see it, you know, when you put it down the draw, obviously it gets tighter. And more open. Which is what I like is open. I like an open draw. But that's, you know, that's just me. But it's kind of cool that they've got the adjustment on there. So where, you know, it'll, uh, you know, it's pretty good for anyone. You know, I mean, if they want to change it, they can change it. 
they don't have to have a loose draw or a tight draw which is pretty cool okay so this is it apart obviously um, tuck that in a little bit I got new cotton I don't want to re-cotton or you know re-wick it or anything but there's the bottom part of the chimney it says fogger so you just twist that down and there's the other part of the chimney and you put that on there and you twist that down these are actually they're they're built pretty well I've been using both of these tanks for probably what two three months now somewhere on in there I absolutely love it they hit really well depends on your build I always do like a 0.5 that's what works best for me so I just kind of stick with it. I have my own little formula. <clears throat> excuse me, the little formula that I go by. Um, let me see. Yep, that rings in there. And you put this on there. You just center it up, and the threads will catch right in there. And then tightens down. See the fogger there and fogger there. I put it. See how it's directly lined up in the middle. I usually leave it just a little like that just so it's not too tight on the gaskets because you'll wear those o-rings out if you tighten it up too much and then that that little screw right there that's your fill screw so let me grab my handy dandy Leatherman here move that this way so you can check it out and that just pops off and this also, you know, they don't leak or anything, which is really nice. And a lot, a large part of them not leaking is because it's got that, it's got that little rubber gasket around your screw there. Let me try and get it to where you can see it. I guess you can kind of see it right there. Let me see. Yeah, see that? I'm going to have to replace mine here pretty soon. But anyways, there's that. And I'm going to grab my little, my little bottle of juice. This juice is probably, oh, I'm thinking 50-50 maybe. I usually do this without the drip tip on it. So you can, it's pretty much for the most part hands free. You just kind of put it on there and press a little bit. And I usually fill this. Well, I'll pick it up and show you. You can see the juice going in. I usually fill this to where it's like the top of that bottom ring, you know, when it's right side up. That ring right there on top is on bottom. So I usually put enough juice in there to where it's like touching that. And these newer foggers, this is newer than that silver one I showed you. This has got the raised deck. And it's uh, a little bit different. Still works the exact same way. It's a little bit easier to build with because that deck's raised up, which makes it a little bit easier to do your coils. Let's see, as you can see, it holds quite a bit of liquid. Let me see. Put some more in. See how it's filling up? You got that little bit of air right there boom I'm done I'm not putting any more in than that you don't really need to it holds probably I'm thinking at least five maybe even six mils of juice Let me grab a paper towel here I don't want stuff all over my mob probably about five five and a half mils of juice which I really like because you don't have to sit there and constantly put juice in it like a dripping addy Dripping addies are fun, believe me. I like making clouds just as much as anyone else. But if I'm at work, I want to use a tank. Because you just pick it up and hit it. There we go. Put that down until it just snug right there. You don't want to over tighten it because you'll tear that rubber gasket up. And wipe that off a little bit. Speaking of which... I am going to take it 
another drag. That is insane. That is a lot of vapor. Um, let me see here. I put the drip tip on it. Try and move relatively quick for you. I don't want to make the video too awful long. It'll get boring. There we go. There it is with the old drip tip. It's pretty cool. Fogger. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is pause this and then I'll put it on my mod, use it a couple times, and uh, let you know if I rebuilt it right. Okay, so there we have it. I take this one off. I got a little bit of juice in there. I wiped it off of there. I'll do a review on this too. This thing, for what it is, it's sick. This is crazy. Really good. I'm like beside myself with how that mod is with how it works anyways let's let's talk about the fogger we'll get to that here in a little bit i might even shoot a video another one later on tonight okay there it is look at that how cool is that that looks crazy okay let me touch this real quick now, 0.5, if it's not going to glare too much. I can't, I don't know, you're probably not going to be able to see that. Okay, well let me do a couple primer puffs. I want to make sure those coils are nice and wet with that cotton. That bubble's coming up. I don't know. We'll find out. If it's nasty, I gotta redo it. <laughs> Not to say it works. <laughs> oh, wow. Woo. It went down to 0.4. I gotta turn that down. That's crazy. That's 15 watts. I'm only using half of what this thing's capable of. That's crazy. I'll turn it down to 11.5. That's a little warm. I'll lock it. There we go. That is insane. Woo! Seems to be working okay. So, uh... Yeah, check them out. Like I said, I'll put a description in the uh, in a link below of where I got it and how much it was, or I can't remember. Like I said, I think it was like right around thirty-five. But they're uh, they're insane. They're insanely good. I I really like them. I think you know if anybody builds their own coils and uh, you know does their own and they're like a hobbyist of it. I mean, don't don't let the price fool you. I know there's you know dual coil, you know tanks out there. They're 150, you know 100 100 150 dollars, which is, you know, for me that's that's insane. For me personally, that's too much money for me to spend. So, you know, I just I I like this. It it works. They work really really well. You know, dual coil, and you get a lot of performance out of them. And the, the flavor is phenomenal. I've never tasted anything like that in my life. And, you know, I can't say enough good stuff about them. So check them out. You guys take it easy. Bye.